because you are feel isolated because you don't have a job or because 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 this bears an enormous weight on you i get it i'm trying to alleviate the weight from you so this isn't just your problem to solve it's my problem to solve so you just define dating all the men i like aren't into me all the men who are into me i don't like and that's not just you it's everybody that is the definition of dating everybody every man every woman Everybody who I want isn't into me. Everybody wants me, I'm not into. That is so normal. And the weight it has on you is greater for you right now. So we have to take that weight off of you, normalize what dating looks like, and give you the tools and a structure and a skill set to break these patterns so that you can live happily ever after. Hey, this is Evan Mark Katz, dating coach for smart, strong, successful women, your personal trainer for love. Thank you for uh, joining me here on today's Love You podcast. Uh, today, we're going to do a little one-on-one -on -one coaching with a new friend of mine. Um, if you are a regular listener and you enjoy the Love You podcast, please give us a positive review on Apple. Uh, not just the five stars, actually say something nice. Uh, it makes a difference. Share it with your friends if it has an impact on you. Um, if you're on YouTube, ring the bell. Choose all to get notified when new content comes out. If you have questions for me, uh, you can go to evanmarkatz.com forward slash questions. And without further ado, I want to introduce you to my friend Susie. Uh, Susie has been kind enough to join me here today uh, for Love Splaining. Uh, this is a, a free preview of a paid podcast for Love Splaining members specifically. So if you're not a Love Splaining member, you won't be able to listen to the entire answer. You can go to evanmarkkatz.com forward slash substack, subscribe to my channel for free. And this is a small monthly payment if you want to listen to these interviews in full. Uh, so Susie, would you be kind enough to give us a, li a little biographical information about yourself? No last names, don't worry. Where do you live? What do you do? How old are you? I live in Silicon Valley. Um, I'm 61. Mm -hmm. I've never been married. Um, I was with somebody in my 30s for, for six years, um, and we were engaged. Called off the wedding. Um, and I, I dropped out of law school right before I turned 30 because I figured I could go back, but the guy I was seeing broke up with me and I, I'm very logical. And I thought, okay, so I have to get out there and meet somebody. I don't know how many years that will take and then get to know them. And I really want to have kids. So now I'm 61. I don't have kids. And, um, it's not important to me to be married. So that's my autobiographical self. And when you're ready for are, my are, question, what do, you, what do you do professionally? Oh, I, I retired a long time ago. Um, okay. uh, I have I have a passive revenue stream from family investments. Let's just okay. say that. Okay, uh, that's wonderful. It's good news. Um, and so uh, have you dated uh, actively for the past 20 years? Have you constantly been looking for love or have you taken long breaks from it? Totally. I think my count is <laughs> exceeds yours, but I'm older than you. You know, I I have um, a, I have done online dating since uh, 2002. Okay, and I did do um, in my 30s because I was really trying to find somebody to have children with and create a family. Sure. Um, so I joined Great Expectations. Oh, sure. Which predated, yeah. yeah. So I have had lots of first dates, lots of second dates. And okay. um, yeah. So um, before we get into your actual question, uh, I often ask this of, of people who end up working with me one-on-one. -on -one. What do you think your patterns are? when it comes to dating, we're, like you're, you're, you're bright. So I'm sure we could see things from up here. Where do you think you're the common denominator in why this has never really been put together fully? Okay. Um, you know, I've related to a lot of the stuff you said last night, I watched your presentation and I don't know whether, um, Sorry. I don't know whether um, I ended up uh, 
with the wrong picker per se, as just um, without getting into details. I mean, uh, did you have a type? I didn't have the, I didn't have the best family background, and so um, you know, I came from a fairly well-off family, but with high expectations, and um, I didn't get the opportunity to date when I was in high school. And then I was heavy in college. And um, so I started my 20s and I hadn't dated at all. And um, so I feel like I had a lack of skills that way. And, um, and then, I don't know, I, I had every one of those things that you said. I tried too hard. I stayed too long with the wrong guys. I compromised and I learned later what it's like to be with somebody I am very attracted to and where we have great sex. But when I was younger, I was like, well, it's just important that they're a good guy. And even when our values weren't the same, I stayed too long. And then I, I know I did that as I got older because it is, and I'm sure that other people, other women can relate to this. When you're single, as you get to be over, I don't know, 40, 50, if you're attractive, um, you're often perceived as, as a threat. And most of the women that I was, friends with almost all of them were married and when I would have friends who were single the focus was just on guys and it felt like I was just in my 20s again because yes I wanted to find somebody but I didn't want to go out to bars and drink a lot and come home at you know midnight or 2 a.m um because I believe and I really want your input on this. You know, my my big issue is how do I date at my age when I I spent the last eight years caregiving my elderly parents and I went from somebody who was, you know, really fit and outgoing to somebody who was worried all the time and thinking about death because you're in hospitals and all of that. Um, and... I don't know that it it feels like I'm sure somebody said this to you before, um, but it, it it feels like musical chairs, and I guess you guys refer to it as the scarcity mentality. I'm only on Match.com right now. I, I've tried Bumble um, in the past, but I've been on it for four years um, with some breaks. And I'm seeing the same faces over and over again. And um, yeah. I just want to, and, and again, I, I, uh, yeah, I'm, not, go ahead. I, I, I'm a much better dating coach than I am a, a, an interviewer. So I just want to make sure that we're clear because we have a finite amount of time on what your actual question is that you want me to help you solve today. Because um, I got I got the background as yeah, to how, how do you I got date, here. Right. How do I date at, at, my age when I really kind of have a vacuum in my life. I'm wondering if I should even, you know, go back to work or something. What, what's what's the vacuum? I live by myself and I don't really have a social network of friends. Right. I have a couple of good friends, but they don't live anywhere near here. So thank you for your question. Um, I hear you and I hope you feel heard and validated. Everything you're going through is really, really normal. And I, I think it's important that you know that. I have dozens of clients who are like you, not exactly like you, but are in the same predicament, which lets me know what you're going through is not unusual. In fact, it's relatively standard. And I know that if I could help those women, I could probably help you too, okay? But it starts with this, the belief. I don't want to get into what got us on the phone today, but when we when we got on the phone, you're in a little bit of a panic, right? 
um, about presentation, how you looked, you didn't prepare for this. And that's useful because right now you're feeling really anxious about all of this. And the anxiety is as big a, a problem as the dearth of men, right? The anxiety, which is you feel organically, it's not your fault. It's a normal response to what you're going through, this perceived scarcity, right? The problem is anxiety doesn't solve anything. It only exacerbates the pre-existing conditions. I hate to be a tease, but the full episode is for paid Substack subscribers only. So if you want to hear my full answer to all my reader questions, go to www.evanmarkkatz.com forward slash Substack to become a paid subscriber. In addition to that, paid subscribers receive the ability to ask me questions and get coaching on my podcast, an advice column in which I answer your questions, a podcast in which I offer you live dating coaching, the ability to comment on all posts and join the dialogue in the Love Splaining community, and exclusive content that is unavailable to the general public. Just go to www.evanmarkkatz.com forward slash Substack to join for free and upgrade for all the bonus content. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you in the Love Splaining community.